Okay, so you have chosen this fragment. Ah, uh, indeed, we are going to go right in here. If you're following these episodes in order, of course, you're not going to mind the whole fragment bit. This is Transporter, alright. Wonder what that's all about. Maybe we're going to transport with a train? Some bus, maybe? Um, where's Vi? Without Vi. I don't see her. She missed the she bus. Have woken first and wandered off. Sigma! Sigma! Huh? It's after midnight now. Oh, cool. What? Tell me the year turned over. It's no longer the year 2028, but... 2029. How long have we been asleep then? My last memory was... Ten and a half hours ago. Talking about the vote at 1330? A lot happened yes. then. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we've only been sleeping, though. We could have woken up several times. You're saying the amnesia drug made us forget. Well, better start looking for Phi. Yes, you're right. Ah, looks like she's not in any of these locations here. That looks comfortable. And that looks just weird. This is the last of the rooms. That Phi. Where'd she go? Maybe she left? To the transporter room. Oh. Zero. I can only assume you are searching. Or something. If you'd like to learn the whereabouts, do as I say. Damn it! So, what are your orders? First, I shall explain the room to you. As the name suggests, this room contains a device called a transporter. It was discovered roughly 140 years ago in the year 1888. At the South Pole, a German expedition was exploring the area. At one point, they became lost and subsequently stumbled upon it. The device was carefully transported to their homeland and researched in secret. What they eventually uncovered was the fact that the device was not made by man. Aliens, really? Perhaps it came from Okay. They determined the intelligence that created it far surpassed that of humans. Of course. Despite not understanding how it worked, they figured out what it was used for. This device is capable of transporting things through space time. Oh, I thought we could have some pizza. That's why it was named the transporter. Maybe if we transport some pizza. I wouldn't really call that the free route, but I've not seen beds like these right. ever. Sorry. Is a large container called the material tank. Inside is oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, a variety of chemical elements that exist on Earth stored individually. You use it as follows First, place the material to be transferred into the input pod. We'll call it X to simplify matters. Next, Select the location of transfer of a pod console. Pulling the lever 
will cause the input pod to begin scanning. This scan reads the exact placement of each atom and makes up Object X. The obtained data travels through space-time directly to the transfer point's nucleus. That nucleus will then analyze it. It will send the necessary elements from the material tank to the export pod and recreate Object X's original form precisely. Essentially, it acts as an atomic level 3D printer. A massive amount of energy is required to do a transfer. Once a transportation has occurred, it takes roughly 10 months to recharge. The device cannot be used during that time. A variety of objects can be placed in the same pod, however. In order to transfer a human, each pod must only hold one body within it. So no objects. Two okay. Into a pod. Can you put people and objects it in the same pod? It's a bit like Soma then. If you've never played it's not a bad game at all. You should check it out. No power runs through the transporter nucleus. It is completely stopped. If you are able to restart it, you may obtain that which you desire. Okay, cool. Sure, why not? I guess we're gonna have to seek a way out, even though that's not the case at all. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to say that this puzzle is extremely annoying to do. First, we have these cards here. And we have to grab all the cards. That's a flower card. And there's a three moons card. And a wind card, okay. And there's a moon card, all of them one by one. It's like if you played Pick Up 52, I think it's called. When you pick up all the cards in a card set, yeah, two human cards, a bunch of cards really. A human card. How many of them are there? Well, we'll find out soon. Sun card. Two moons card. And there's some on this desk too, and over here. Nothing happens when you touch it. Okay, surface is cold. Alright, good. This is human and two moons. I think this is the puzzle in the game that has the most object in a single place. Because look at all these cards. Jesus Christ, never ends. And there's a star card. I think this is the last one though. Let's take a look around. I'll examine other things later, don't worry. Okay. So we have to figure out how to do anything in this place and there's also this thing here what is this the machine do you know Sigma I know it looks fragile fragile I think something goes into a vertical and horizontal axis oh you're right that means we probably can't use it now yep that's right that'll be later okay so here we can put the cards here star card oh lights turned on and the card turned the, the lighter too, okay. So now we have to put in every single card, one by one. Yes, please shut up, NPCs. Well, not NPCs, but 
characters. It takes forever to do this already. Ugh. This is why this puzzle is really annoying. Because it's... Let there be like, yeah, sure. Because it's barely a puzzle. And more like... Use all the cards here. And something happens. I guess it's supposed to tell you that... You should only proceed if you have all the cards. I think there's 13 of them. So we have to put in five more cards in. I know, this is very riveting. I think even the characters are running out of things to say. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at that. They have nothing else to say about this because it's been 11 already. Come on, yeah, only one more left. Okay, there we go. Here goes the last one, finally. And we get a book. This is a hologram stereoscopy. As a picture in the air, is it okay to touch? It should be fine, but why? It's only a picture after all, you can't feel it. Isn't poking your hand through the hologram fun? <laughs> come on, try it. Oh, hey, it opened the book. Chapter one. So, this equals zero, and that's it, that's that's the whole chapter one. Okay. Okay, cool, now what you're supposed to do is... Oh, here, there's more stuff, actually. Something's happening over at the nucleus. I wonder what it is, let's go see. There are some symbols in the air. So, I'm not gonna bother with that too much yet but if you go here you can see this and you can put in some cards but as to which cards go here we don't know yet and we can't know yet so what we're gonna do here is come over here <coughs> and put in every single card what happens is these cards do battle and the symbol on the other side was stronger yes now if you do this with every card They will put in random cards against these. It is indeed random. Okay, this is not a good example. Okay, whatever. Uh, it, it, it's going to change after a while. Like, it, it's supposed to cycle through a few cards, a few different cards, and pretty much let you measure the, the cards work. Fortunately, I've already done everything in here about that, so let's go check in here. Chapter 2. The alien civilization that created this transporter utilized 13 symbols, each one representing a number from 0 to 12. The relationships are as follows. So all of those are the, 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 the cards. So this equals the human and the moon, because it's a human and a moon. And these equals the human times the human because it's two humans and so on and so forth. So forth, yes I say. And there's a, there's a question. So now you have to solve this crap where you have to uh, make sure that you know which one is the correct one. Luckily for you I've already done all of this because this is really long and tedious and annoying. So according to this, I'll, I'll explain my thought process. First of all this one is zero. And then if you keep doing the whole thing with um, checking which work, which one is worth what, you'll see that it's it's kind of a matter of logic to determine which is which, because the sun doesn't come ever in any of the equations, so you can safely say that the sun is not used in any of the equations. So the sun is one of those like numbers that can't be gotten by multiplying with others. So it's either one, two. Uh, three, five, seven, or eleven, I believe. For the purpose of this, let's leave it at one for now. And then you have a lot of them that contain a moon. So it's safe to say that the moon is used in a in in a lot of those. And seeing as it's used in one, two, three, four, five of those symbols. That means whatever number it is must be used to form at least five symbols by multiplicating. So if we count them, you'll eventually arrive at the conclusion that the only way that is possible 
and especially because some of them use three moons, is if the moon is worth two. Because even if you if it's three, immediately you do three times three times three, and that's 27. So that's not possible because it only goes up to 12. Understand what I mean now? And then you do this with all of them, and the human is also used in a few of those. Multiply it once, and the human is worth uh, four. Would be impossible because it would be four times four, and that's 16. So it can only be three in that case. Unless you multiply by 1, but I don't think that's possible at all. So, 4 would be then 2 moons, because that's 2 times 2. And we do indeed have 2 moons, so that works. 5 we can't know yet, so I'm gonna skip it over. 6, we have uh, 2 times 3, so a human and a moon, and we indeed have that. And 7 is also a single one, which we can't do actually think about right now. 8 is going to be divided by 2. Oh, it could be divided by 4 and 2, so that's 3 moons. That's that. And then 9 is 3 times 3. And 10 is going to be... Uh, we can't actually know just yet, but we'll work that out soon enough. 11, we can't see... we can't know what 11 is either. And 12 is going to be... Let's see... It's... Well, it, there's only one that can really realistically be 12 here, because 6 times 2 would be 12, but we don't have... Well, it, it, 6 times 2 is 12, so basically it's this one. It's not, any, it's not this one, which is the other one you can use for replicating, so... Okay, now we're left with all these symbols. So the only other number that is able to be multiplicated in all of these is 10. So this one is going to be 10 due to this process of elimination. And this is star times 2. So you can tell that star is 5. And if you do enough of those earlier to check the worth of these symbols, the sun is worth less than both of them, so the sun goes here, the flower is worth less than the birdman, come on, come over here, which means it's worth 7 and the birdman is 11. So now you have all of those numbers lined up. Okay, I hope you didn't lo I didn't lose you, I wanted to explain the thought process that went into it even though I already did it, because it's really complicated and this room took me an hour when I was here the first time and I don't want to subject any of you to that, so this is fine. It's a nice compromise, I'd say. Now, chapter 3. We have all of those numbers, just to remember all what all of them are worth. I have them noted, so it's no use. Then there's chapter 4. In order to operate the nucleus, four cards must be placed on the sensor. This alien technology has two methods for expressing numbers, however. By converting the numbers, the symbols displayed by the nucleus to a second format, you will determine the correct cards to place. To do this conversion, oh, we will have to use this monitor here. So this monitor has interesting, an interesting outcome, I'd say. Let's see. First of all, it's going to print this item. So let's try it. It's going to take all the way up to 9 from 0. And we get a bunch of reels. And there's another one now. Hey, it looks a little bit different. Let's see how different it is. Oh, that's because it took all of them this time around. Yes, it is different. Now we have more reels. Only four of them, too. Now we can put in those reels here. That was easy enough. And now here, uh, we can put in the other ones. Okay. Now we can use this to convert the five symbols into four. 
and our five symbols, if you remember right, were these ones. Three birdmen, one flower and one human. So all of those together are 11 times 11 times 11 times 7 times 3. And the result has to be input um, as... Let me see. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. Has to be input down here in these five uh, reels here. But before that, I'm going to quickly go over and use my calculator here to calculate the result of these numbers. Okay, the result is 27,951. So we have to... Yeah, we have to figure this out now. So, by the numbers here, we have to have two here. Two is moon, indeed. Then it's seven, which is a flower. There we go. The third one is nine, which is the last one on the list. Or uh, two humans. Then we have five, which is the star. And finally, one, which is the sun. And now, when we spin this, we are going to get the result from these turned into the four symbols we have to use. So we have to use the man with the two moons, the two humans, the star, and the sun. Okay. So when we come here, we can then take... Actually, I don't think uh, we don't need to do that. Just, just this, yeah. The cards can fit here. Indeed, they can. Okay, and now we have to pick the right ones. Of course, because now I oversimplified how this puzzle worked. We know exactly which one we need. We need these these symbols and uh, these two humans here. The star over here and the sun. And this should be fine. And then there will be K. Uh, let me tell you, this whole thing took me an hour, like I said. An hour. Just doing mathematics and whatnot. Overall, people are very annoyed with this puzzle. I didn't hate it, but it took a while to understand everything. I hope I made it clear enough. Like, it's really simple in the end, but... It worked! Yeah. Yes, but... Oh. What? Fi's dead. It can't be. The next door has been opened and subsequently closed. Oh, really now? The successful escapee is Akane Kurashiki. Oh. The decision game has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. isn't what we wanted to happen. We didn't want this at all. You tricked us, Zero! This is a lie. It, it's gotta be. I refuse to believe this is true. Somewhere you can't speak, just, just make a noise. Please, fine. Please answer me, damn it. I think she's dead. Would the announcer really have said she was otherwise?
What's wrong? Are you all right? You okay? Yes. Thank you. And fine. Nope. Didn't find her. This door will never open again, then. Yeah. Why did Akane leave alone? No idea. There's... There's no way to tell what happened for the North Sea. Maybe something horrible happened. We only know one thing. Carlos and Junpei are dead. So, you believe the announcement? Well, if what it said earlier is true, then that means Q Team is dead as well. But unlike C Team, we can figure out exactly how Q Team died. They were executed. Likely, because of the vote in 1330. Diana, I believe you picked Q-Team then, right? Yes, but I... I know. You just did as the note suggested. The real betrayer is... Carlos. All oh, right. Not good. It's almost time for us to get injected again. We don't have time to waste. Come with me. Oh, do you have a plan? Never open again. Now, all we can do here is just wait to die. Wait, you don't mean you're planning to transport? What other choice do we have? We have one to wait for Akane. I'm sure the police or a rescue team will. We can't count on that. But why? This is the tree form time. Listen to me, Sigma! This is not the time for pointless arguing. We are escaping this horrible history. We're going to where Phi exists. Sigma? Okay, then. I've Go ahead. I've selected the transfer point. All we have to do is pull this lever. Then, we need to run to the input pods. Wait! I'm going to go even if you want. What? I'm starting it. You ready? And now we have a choice. A really, really stupid choice. Either we don't transport or we transport. This choice is incredibly stupid. Let's not transport. Screw that. Diana, wait, I just said do not transport. What are you doing? I didn't say not to let Sigma transport, I said not Diana, to transport. What are you? Why did you break it? This has to be Zero's trap. A trap? Don't you think so? Zero's the one who made us start this thing. If we transport now, we'll be doing exactly what Zero wants. Uh, Diana, what, what did you do? I, I, I don't know what's going on, but... Great. Pretty sure it's 
sure we should get out of here. Yeah. Let's go, Diana. Let's get the fuck out. Oh god. How does electricity work like that anyway? Well, I guess now it doesn't work anymore. And they die. No, they didn't. Sigma? It's after zero one thirty. Yeah. Seems it is. You're not surprised? We didn't get injected with the drugs. No, I remembered the announcement from earlier. The decision has now been concluded. Cool. No more memory oh. loss. The game's already over. So... It'll be fine. Akane will come back. You keep telling yourself that. I'm not so sure I believe that. And this is a game over. But it's a very important game over for reasons you will learn later. Yes, return to the game without saving, thank you. Now we will go through this again. And this time we'll pick the transport because apparently there's a lot more to this flowchart than meets the eye. You noticed all of those below? Yeah. Okay, let's skip all of that. Completely useless. And now it is time to decide. And this time we are going to transport. We can't just pick not to transport and let Sigma do it. We have to destroy the machine if we don't transport, so... Might as well go with it. Let's go. Let's hurry. Ooh, shiny. And that's it! Now we have some stuff we can watch or continue. So I will go over here first and I'll do whatever is in there. And this is going to be a rather lengthy video if I do that though. So I don't know, I mean I can keep going but I'd rather save all of this for another video, okay? So this is part one of Transporter, and next one will be part two, in which we'll go see what these two things are all about. And it will also begin the moment when there is no, I would say, no more uh, choices between fragments, because we are going to have a very limited and strict hierarchy of fragments to pick from now on, I'd say. We are pretty much going to enter the end game, so if you haven't seen the other fragments, make sure to do so before you pick the second part of this, since things are going to pick up now. Oh yes, there's still a lot of story to go. For now, I'll see you next time.